Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious yarnery. So today I want to talk about this sweater. Oh, this had to been, and it's it's very long, and oh, look at how I did the cuff. Oh, I love it. I've seen see I was looking on for sweaters. Where was I looking? Like not crochet pattern sweaters, but regular sweaters. And they had these where the cuffs came around, like I would do my shrugs. So I thought, I'm gonna try that, and I love it. I loved how it looked. This yarn I'm gonna talk about, I didn't think it was available anymore, but I was at Walmart, and I live in Canada, so I'm pretty sure it could probably still available in the States. It is a Bernat yarn, but look at the back of that maybe you can't get it I don't I don't know I think yarn inspirations may have it I don't know I didn't do any I did this this sweater completely different than how I would do this sweater now there's not a tutorial for this sweater but there is a tutorial for this sweater it is this sweater is called the French the precious friendship sweater yeah it, it's explained I just I adore this sweater too but this one is done completely different than how I've ever done any other sweaters this sweater turned out huge it is about a 2x I believe I want one of those mannequins that are for um, larger a larger mannequin this this is about an extra large this is about a 2x it is very long. It goes down to, well, listen, I've, I've shrunk over the years, apparently. So it goes down to just above my knees. The, and you, I made it completely different. I may do a tutorial on it. I don't know. It's one of my favorite sweaters that I've ever made. Um, I love it. I love how it feels. I love how it fits me because I could just wrap it right around me and I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the yarn I used. You know, you'd be surprised of what yarn. It looks like puzzle, but it's different colors. And I love the collar. This is all this it's basically one. There's only sewing on the sides a little bit. There's and I made it it's gonna come around off. But I kind of made it like I made a long train, a chain that came all the way around my shoulder. So I measured it from where I wanted it and made sure the chain was even. And then I just kept going. And then when I did kept going to the other side, now I know other people do um, sweaters like this, but I've never done it. And then I just made a chain and kept going and made sure I got enough uh, rows on the same side. I love how I did the cuff. Love that. Love how I um, shrank it so you got a little puffy little sweater. This whole thing was, I, I just, it took me I think two and a half days to make it. I was enjoying it so much. Now the yarn I used. Now I didn't think you could buy the yarn anymore. I got it in the big balls and I'm going to tell you different the different yarns, the colors that I have. How much yarn I used on this? Now, this didn't come in yarn. This is the label. Let me show you the label. That's, I didn't get yards or meters, but I got the grams. And I took a picture of the, the ball that I found at a Walmart. And I, listen. <laughs> It's approximately, okay? So the ball at Walmart is 140 grams, 223 yards. These balls are 200 gram balls, approximately 319 yards, 220, 291 meters. For this sweater, I approximately used 1300 yards approximately I used four big skeins of yarn 
and then a very little of this yarn um, not half of this yarn so maybe a hundred yards of this yarn not a lot and listen I got this at Cambridge Fibers in Cambridge Ontario before I moved to Nova Scotia and I'm so happy I picked up a few colors so this color which I made this out of is pink topaz and then I have throwing things <laughs> then I also have turquoise oh, look at those that reminds me of puzzle I fell in love with that so that's the pink topaz and the color is pretty good around here this is the turquoise this is a nice blue I made a blanket out of this color this color is Periot, Periot, you know, the stone, stone, it's, the, there's a gem stone made out of, named too. And this is red Jasper. And listen, now I know there's no red in it. There's a lot of purple in this, but no red. These are the four colors I have. I don't know if they make those colors anymore. I know the balls are smaller at Walmart but I love them and I want to make it another sweater out of it I, I might do a tutorial it's almost the same as this but not this one has a texture this you can see the texture in it this is made up like the this pattern it's almost the same but it's not it's not well, it looks completely different. It looks completely different. I mean, you use the same, almost the same stitches, but it's completely different. It's, it's, it amazes me. I think that's why I like crocheting so much. You, you just change a little bit and you get a completely different, different look. Completely. Um, this is made crossways. This was made up and down. Look at this back. I love it. <laughs> I may have and you know I have been working on a lot of tutorials like for me I haven't done a tutorial in over um, over a year and then this one was the first one I have I'm working on my third fourth one right now not as I sit here but <laughs> you know I'm working on it I am so pleased and so happy the creative like this time of year I get really creative it must be you know you know what's coming up so you know I just go a little crazy but anyways this sweater I really enjoyed making and you can still buy it's Bernat wavelength I didn't know you could still buy the yarn I thought it was discontinued I I can get it in Canada and Walmart I'm pretty sure you you could find it in the States if you if we got it you got you, you pretty much got it right is that right I've heard that Bernat maybe you can't buy Bernat in the States thinking you can get it you can get it somewhere I'm think yarn inspiration maybe I should check while I have you on here let me check let me pause this and go check just because I don't want to give you the wrong information okay so I see it at yarn inspirations I, I don't this is a Canadian site but I believe you guys can in the states can get it it is 1099 Canadian yeah it seems pricey but it's soft it reminds me a lot of puzzle <sighs> love it <laughs> and I believe it's the same amount of yardage in that I didn't check that either but there's mo so many colors now you can still this one is called so it's a five bulky it's a five bulky a hundred percent acrylic 140 grams five ounces 204 meters 223 yards machine wash and dry which listen I don't mess that's why I don't do a lot of wool in that because listen I'm the laziest girl you'll ever meet and I if I'm going to do laundry I'm going to throw in the washer and dryer unless it's something really special mm -hmm. 
It recommends a six needle six hook. I used an eight. I did. I used an eight hook. It has a four star, a five star rating, which I believe, I believe it. It is, and there's so many different colors. They do have the pink topaz. I see that. They do have the periot. I see that. They do not call this pink topaz. They name this perf parfait, perfait. Listen, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> P-A-R-F-A-I-T. Um, I don't see the blue or this purple kind of color. But they do, there's some colors they're out of. They're out of, they're out of the blue, but I can't get the name to come up. I don't know how long, oh, there's another different color blue, but it's maybe the same. It's called blue sapphire. It's not the same as this. This is turquoise. I, listen, I highly recommend this yarn. A lot because it reminds me of Puzzle, and I love Puzzle from Premier. And this might be, this is probably the same price I would pay for Puzzle Premier if it wasn't on sale. So yeah, but different colors. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. I'll be watching this to see if it goes on sale and maybe I can get some different colors. Okay, guys, that's all. I hope um, my math was right. Let me know if you've ever worked with this yarn. This is, I did work with the green for a blanket, for a boggy blanket, and I already sent it to Nancy, so I can't tell you what I think of it. <laughs> well, I did enjoy working with it, and I needed a boy's blanket, and I love the colors. I love the way the yarn is wrapped in different colors so anyways i hope you all have a great day and i will see you all soon bye bye